Linux Noob. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way you can sync photos from your phone to your laptop um, in Linux using rsync and go mtpfs. So I have a git repo that you can go to. Um, and that is called phone sync photos. If you, if you search GitHub for Nixnoob50 and go to users, you'll find uh, my phone sync photos. Uh, the URL for this is just github.com um, slash Nixnoob50 slash uh, phone sync photos. And uh, basically, um, this is a simple tool that um, will allow you to use GoMTPFS and um, sync your phone photos. The README tells you kind of everything you need to know. Um, and make sure you read the README because I might be updating the script in the future. But the script is a really simple script. Um, basically, if we if we plug in our phone, we can't just rsync with, uh, we can't just use rsync because of the way the phone connects by default. I'm gonna plug in my phone here. So I'm putting my phone into file transfer mode. And then that's gonna pop up. And if I open this, browse with file manager you'll see that it's got mtp uh, colon udi equals and that's not something that we can rsync if i were to take um ntp colon slash open a terminal and just go um or just try to cd that's not a file path we can get to. It's basically using a protocol and depending on what your what mode you put your phone in, you might see um, like KIO slave or uh, camera colon. And none of those are things that we can really get at to use um, to use our sync with. Um, so there's a package called there's a package called um, go mtpfs, and if we install that, I'm just gonna copy that and paste that command. I already have this installed, so um, that's already there. Um, and then if you go to the read, readme, um, you can see um, it has a, a way to basically debug. I mean, basically all the script is doing, let me open the script real quick. Um, let me just go download that uh, from, I, I already have this on my computer, but I'll go ahead and get the code. And so I'm just gonna go um, SSH. You could go HTTPS as well. Um, so I'm just gonna copy that and go here and uh, open up a terminal, or let's just say open terminal here so that I can zoom that in. And then I'm just gonna paste, uh, well, I'm gonna type git clone and then that URL. And so this is gonna download the shell script and we'll take a look at this real quick. So without the comments, this is only like four lines of code. Um, so basically we're making a temp, a temp directory in our home directory called temp phone. And then we're using go MTP, MTPFS to mount that directory. Um, then we're pausing just for a second to uh, give that mount time to, you know, basically time to get settled. Um, and then to sync the photos, we are just are syncing using AV. Um, instead of progress here, I should probably change that to use P because that'll do partials. And also just smaller, that'll do partials as well as, um, as show progress. Um, so we're going from home temp phone, and then this is the path on my Android device and might be different for yours. Um, but I'm taking the DCIM camera pictures and then copying that to, uh, in my case, my home pictures. I, I made a phone directory. And by default, um, this would make the phone directory if it didn't exist um, via rsync. So it's going to go into home pictures under directory called phone. You could change this to whatever you want. 
then we're unmounting that directory and then we're removing the uh, home directory so we can kind of walk through this um, if I were to open a terminal here um, let me just open a terminal from here and then I want to zoom in here so I have my phone plugged in and I have it um, in file transfer mode and if you're not sure how to do that I'll I will show you how to do that in just a second when I I'll turn my camera back on and show you that um, but so if I go back to the script so I'm gonna run these two commands real quick make directory home temp phone just in a terminal and so that's gonna make a temp home uh, a temp phone directory in my home directory. Now I'm going to run this, um, and this is just going to mount that directory uh, to my phone. So paste that, mount that to my phone, and oh, it did not like that. I'm in file transfer mode. Oh, okay. So it did. It did do it. It just took it a second. Okay. So now if I go into my home directory and go to temp phone. You can see I have internal shared storage. So yours might be different. And if it is, you would have to modify that script. But here, if I uh, go into here and go to DCIM and go to camera, uh, for some reason that just locked up. Oh, just doing the thumbnails. Um, so here's that full path. And I'm going to copy this to my pictures phone directory. And this is a path that I could rsync, right? I could come in here, copy this, and from here, um, if I just open a terminal, I could CD into that. Um, okay, so the reason that is saying that is because um, anytime you're doing a file path, you have to escape spaces. And this is true when you're creating your command for rsync as well. If you tab complete, it'll it'll tab complete for you. Um, so like if I went back here to, uh, let's see, let's just go uh, CD um, tilde slash TMP phone. If I started typing in and use tab, it's going to auto do that for me. Um, so now we can LS and see we've got CD DCIM. So you can see this is a browsable file system. Um, and then we've got camera, CD camera. LS and then there's all our all our images. So now we've got a file path that we can rsync. Now to stop this, um, so yeah, <laughs> you would want to do that and copy your path here so that it's 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 correct. But it should be the same if you're using an Android phone. Um, so now I want to stop this. So down here where we remove the mount, we want to run this. Because I was just playing around testing. Um, so I'm going to run that real quick. I can just stop this. Oop, Q. Control C. There we go. Paste. That's going to unmount that. And then I want to remove that home directory. The, the temp phone directory. Okay, so that's all the script does is it's going to make that make that mount and then run rsync. Um, so we can run the script real quick. Um, let's just run this. So I'm just going to go um, here. I'll save it. I did make that change to the the p. Um, so if I just go run, let's open a terminal here. If I just go dot slash phone sync. So that's going to get a list of all all the uh, images on my phone, and basically there were nothing to tr there was nothing to transfer there. But if I uh, go to my phone images, let's go to pictures phone, and I just deleted a bunch of these pictures. So I deleted those, and now if I go um, open this and run that script again.
it's going to copy all those images back. So now I can just take pictures with my phone, run that script. And then if we put that script in a one of our bin paths, then um, we don't have to um, we don't have to do the dot slash. We can just run the command and then we can set up an icon on our desktop. Um, so I'm just going to do that real quick. I do have that already in my bin path. Um, so I can just create a new icon, uh, create a new link to an application, create new link to application. I'm going to call this sync phone. I'll do sync phone photos because we could also make that sync any of those other directories on our phone or our entire phone. So all our audio, our podcast, et cetera, we could just make that sync everything. I'm going to search for an icon for a phone and add that. Let's do this one. Oh, let's do the outline one, phone symbolic. Yeah. All right. No, I'll do that one. Okay, so phone sync photos is what we're calling that. I'm going to go to applications, phone sync photos. And then the program is just going to be phone. Oh. I do have it in my path. Oh, I think I call it sync. S nope. There it is, phone sync photos. So I have that in my path. Um, if you don't have it in your path, you can still create an icon to it. You would just have to include the path to that executable um, here or to the shell script. So phone sync photos, and then that doesn't need any arguments. Just say, okay, oh, uh, well, I want to uh, advanced run in terminal. And then I do want it to close when it's, when it's done. Um, so now I have a link on my desktop here, and if I, let's go delete some photos. Um, let's just delete uh, those. And if I run this, it's going to copy those back. Done deal. So now we have a one-click button on our desktop that we can use to sync our phones, uh, our photos. And let's see, do I have a bigger me only without the, uh, without the, no, I don't. Okay. Well, that's going to be hard to see in this little, in this little bubble, <laughs> but basically, um, on your phone, you should have something like this where you can put it in different modes. And so you can see right now I have that in file transfer mode. Um, when you plug in your phone via USB, um, let me just unplug it real quick and then plug that back in. When you, when you plug in your phone, if you pull the drop down from the top and then go to the bottom, you'll see where it says Android is charging this device via USB. If you click on that, then it'll say tap for more options down there. Tap for more options. You click that and that's where you get the screen like this where you can uh, select which, which mode you want to be in. So for this to work, I just have to put my phone in file transfer mode and then we're good. Now we can just uh, double click on that and that's going to sync my photos and then it's going to exit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, let me know. Um, if you find any, any bugs or issues with that, that script, please uh, comment on GitHub. Feel free to submit you know, pull request if you, you know, have any changes. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.